I V M. Hi. You're listening to I V M Daily. Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of IVM Daily. My Hi. name is Janam. Hi. Hi Surbhi. <laughs> Hi Abbas. Hi. Hey, it's been a it's while. It's just it's us? Oh, oh, there's no one else? Yeah. Oh my god. This is the comfort zone. <laughs> the three of us just talk to each other. You know what that means? What? It's time to reveal your deepest, darkest <laughs> secrets. Oh no. <laughs> oh, honestly guys, nobody, like Abbas and I don't know what the topic is. We just like walked in. Yeah, yeah. I love this. <laughs> okay, so... As our listeners know and as everyone in this room knows that uh, Abbas and Surbhi are stand-up comedians. They go on stage and perform a lot. Surbhi has been on a Netflix uh, special called Queens What? of Comedy. You've been on a Netflix special? I mean, it's on Netflix. It's not a special, but it's a show. That's okay. on Netflix. But it wasn't made by Netflix. It just... Yeah. It was made by TLC. Oh, TLC. But yeah, yeah. it's now on Netflix. Tender Love and Caring. Yeah. <laughs> it is on Netflix, so you guys should totally yeah. check it out. Yeah. Also, Abbas was featured on Comic Stan season yeah. one for a brief for twelve moment. seconds, and I am a dead body in an East India comedy video. Abbas, stop the self-deprecating <laughs> humor, man. I think it's the truth. We're all trying to appreciate like, tiny things here. Yeah. yeah, but okay. But apart from these uh, public appearances, uh, these guys perform regularly around the city, <clears throat> so you can check it out. They mm-hmm. will plug in their social s- media. Yeah, and, and their upcoming events later yeah. at the end of the episode. So uh, the reason I'm uh, sharing. All this is because uh, I have certain questions for you guys since you all perform on stage as stand-up comedians. Uh, I'll just dive right into it. First question is like, uh, so you know, there's like performance anxiety before you go up on stage and perform. Like, do you mm. guys have any sort of ritual or preparation you you all do before you all start your set? <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I feel like this is something I do. I kind of tune out. Because mm-hmm. uh, if I'm there to just enjoy or the show, then I, of course, I don't care. But if I'm performing, if I'm on the lineup, then mm-hmm. I kind of like take a break. I kind of walk out of the whole, you know, the zone where mm-hmm. they're performing. I kind of walk out for like a bit, like 10 minutes or t- I just spend it. It doesn't like have fresh to air. Be, Yeah, just fresh air. I kind of try to revise my jokes, but I don't mm-hmm. end up revising my jokes. I just like walk around, mm-hmm. just pace around for a mm-hmm. while. Yeah, it kind of okay. helps me calm down a little bit. And I just tell myself, it's okay. Like before going up on stage, I tell myself, it's okay if you bomb also. Hmm. So then that way I'm like, my expectations are zero. So like right. then I like I can I can do a good job of performing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I do. Good. I also pretty much do the same. I try as much as I can to uh, like about 5-10 minutes before I'm about to go on. 5 hmm. minutes before it's a little difficult because you have to be backstage because yeah. they'll call you on any time. But like 10-15 uh, minutes before hmm. I also do the same thing. I either walk out of the venue hmm. or find a quiet space. Okay. And uh, I tell myself that I need to have fun on stage. Yeah. Hmm. I don't care about the audience because the general rule is if I'm having fun, they'll have fun. So and has there been a point where... Uh, Say you crack a joke or like you are like at the peak of your set mm. and you expect the audience to laugh but they don't but you're finding it funny and you laugh. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> so in, in comedy, especially in stand-up, you have this thing where if your joke fails yeah. and you address the failure of the joke, then mm. the audience inevitably laughs because yeah. they're like, mm. okay, he also knows <laughs> that his joke did or she also yeah. knows that, that joke didn't. did not work. Yeah. So I did then, the, yeah, you're right. I just did the opposite of this recently. Like instead of addressing the failure, I addressed like, oh my God, this, that worked? <laughs> <laughs> like immediately after the first time I was stress testing out one tag that I had mm. and I I said it and people were laughing and my instant reaction my like what in my had in my mind was I'll quickly go on to my next joke because I wasn't expecting anyone to laugh. Mm. But they were laughing and I was like, Oh that worked <laughs> and that kinda like it like threw me off. So like I was like, Oh, okay, let me look at the other jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the anxiety uh, it it lessens as you go along, but mm. yeah, it never goes away. You still get yeah, butterflies yeah. in your stomach. Yeah, that so happens. Before. Yeah, midway through my performance, also I feel like it's it's still there. Yeah, like mm. it, yeah. It's not like it but goes like once down. you start, it definitely gets better. Like once the initial. Yeah. Oh my god! I used to shiver on stage, dude. Like me too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like even so, like a lot of times people would like comedians would sit down and do it. I can't do sit down. Okay. Because my legs mm. tend to shimmer more and like, mm. oh. so I need to be walking around. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be like doing something in my hands mm. and like mm. my legs at the same time. I think I don't know about you, but um, do you feel like there's a breaking point when when you're already on uh, stage? Mm. 
it may be the first joke the moment you crack your first joke and the laugh you're like okay mm. now it's a breaking mm. point now i can yeah. i can ease in and sometimes it's it takes a while like 3 4 minutes yeah. in where you're like mm. okay now so do you also feel there's yeah, either one joke or something you say exactly. where you somehow feel the ice breaking you're like okay mm. now now they're cool with me now i can i can mm. take my time that's okay. true so yeah i i don't know where, where to and it varies even if i'm doing the same mm. set at five different places mm. the breaking point will be different i think my breaking point mostly this is something i really see side doing is when i my first thing is always like an audience interaction kind of thing okay like it's not something that's like i've prepared it's mm. something that i've picked up during the course of right. like other comics going mm. up and like mm. something happened just right now i'll pick up so like then the audience is suddenly like whoa this is real this yeah. just happened so yeah i kind of do that and then i get into my jokes okay so they're like oh this is a real person not someone reading out a script mm. okay mm. got it yeah. okay so that was like before the performance mm. what about during the performance like mid set i puke all over the stage my question is like yeah, oh, never sit in the front row oh. this would be gay <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why she's on maternity leave? <laughs> <laughs> so, inside, inside joke. Inside joke. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So during your performance, what are the thoughts? Are there any thoughts going on in your head while you're performing, or you're just into your set and you're just focusing on What's that? What's the next joke? What's the next joke? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, see, the thing is, it it. Uh, it gets the more you do a set the hmm. more it becomes subconscious it's like yeah. certain hand gestures will go with certain words certain hmm. body movements will go so it's almost you're on an auto autopilot yeah. mode and you're thinking a few seconds ahead you're like okay hmm. i'm doing this joke now i have to try yeah. a new bit the here one, yeah. the crowd seems to be good hmm. maybe i can sleep, sweep in this and obviously if you're a stand up comic the time the timing hmm. is always at the back of your hmm. head okay i'm on time i'm going a little over time hmm. you have to look out for signals where they give you to wrap up or mm. whatever so yeah. the lot lots of That's things actually very going true. on timing is crucial even when like even when you know that you have 5 minutes to perform but like midway through your set also when you know there's a pause yeah. and like you have to take the right amount of pause to mm. for them to get the joke and also like you know For, like so you don't move on too quickly or you don't like give it yeah. less of a pause that's also something that re- again like something i'm learning mm. like it's mm. something i can comes with practice yeah i can never be yeah. perfect at it like some days i have a joke that only works because of a pause mm. so that i feel like sometimes it kills sometimes mm. there's a less of a laugh and mm. i know it's because i didn't take the exact pause okay mm. maybe mm. i'll maybe i'll probably have a div- like a strategy where like i count in my head, okay one two three yeah. something <laughs> cuz right now i just go with it and like just like look around and hope that they get it mm. Also, yeah. when you're performing on stage, I think your senses are a little heightened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is to say that um, if someone laughs at a joke and some in some corner of the crowd, even if it's in the dark, someone laughs at a higher pitch hmm. or something, you'll instantly hear it. Yeah. And audiences love it when something awkward happens and you address it. Okay. Because they want to feel like you're in you're in the moment with the comedian. Hmm. So when the comedian addresses it, like many a times when you're performing in a bar or something, someone will drop a glass or hmm. something, and I feel like you hmm. can't just keep on going. You have to address the fact someone dropped their glass. You have hmm. to make a comment about that because people, everybody heard it. Everybody is looking at the guy who dropped it. You can't yeah. just keep going on. So they want to feel like a part of the set. Yeah. Like yeah. They're yeah. also involved. They're like, in okay, whatever is happening with us is affecting him. It's hmm. not yeah. just like he's on autopilot. Yeah. yeah. So That's yeah, true. I think you get. Uh, <clears throat> your senses are a little heightened when when you're on stage. Okay. Yeah. So what about uh, so you're saying more or less uh, you you all are in the moment you all are focusing about the, you all are thinking about the set and what mm. you all are going to like the thinking next joke. Thinking a joke ahead yeah. 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 So okay, I have another question. What what happens if uh, you know say for some reason just before going on stage maybe you've had some maybe something is going on in your personal life or you've had a bad day. Mm. And in that mental state you have mm. to go on stage and perform then mm. what happens you you go Do along you with i mean that's go. that's the job okay. it, it doesn't matter i if, mean uh, i get that sometimes i'm not even i don't even have to have a bad day mm-hmm. but like sometimes i just like the day like the Like sometimes whatever I do on stage, even if it's my one of my best jokes, they won't kill. So like, hmm. doesn't have to be you going through a bad day. Because hmm. when I go up on stage, I literally follow the same routine. Yeah. So like, it's not like I'm missing out. Like you know, it's like I'm, re- I'm doing the same thing what I did like, uh, and like a a day ago. So hmm. I'm not, I'm not missing out on some jokes. I'm doing the same thing, but sometimes it just does not work. Like the That's audience true. is not very keen, or I don't know. Hmm. I'll tell you what, and I'll try and uh, uh, like. put it in words as um, as best as i can so i remember i i had a really bad breakup about 2 years ago and i was in mm. a bad place mm. and yet i had to go 
to a gig and i was doing my set that i had done many times so like i said you almost becomes like a routine so you're doing it so while doing it i could still see myself objectively where oh. i was like uh, look at myself like i'm heartbroken still i'm doing this but it was just a fleeting second okay. then i was back in the groove yeah, yeah so yeah. Hmm. so yeah i mean you you're still you're very i like hmm. to see it as you form a bubble that stage is the bubble around you hmm. where uh, nothing can touch you while you're performing oh, so nice. i want to so, ask you due to this one thing where sometimes i used to do this a lot but now st- Start, but like sometimes I would go to an, like a, a mic, mm. and if it goes really good, mm. I just want to live in that feeling, so I don't go for open mics the whole week. I'm like, because if the next one goes bad, I'll be, I'll have a bad, like I'll have to make up for it by going for more. Yeah, I'm like let's just live with this feeling for the rest of the month and not go to any mics. Yeah, I used to do that, and then a fellow comic actually shattered that illusion, <laughs> yeah. where he said that um, when you, whenever you have a good set. Uh, go home that night and try writing new jokes because oh. uh, you need to get back to that struggle straight away and mm. not live in the mm. uh, in the illusion that oh That's i killed advice. so okay. and also i mean in comedy anybody who does stand up the, the illusion doesn't stay long they yeah. have a great gig yeah the you, next thing you the see next one performing I'm you like, will, Whoa. you will yeah. tank with the same jokes so yeah, yeah that high doesn't l- stay for I've, a long time i stopped doing it now i'm yeah. like oh, okay <laughs> Because sometimes, yeah, even if I have an average set, I'm like, no, I have to go back home and work on yeah. it. I can't like live with this feeling of, nah, it's okay. Kya tha? <laughs> actually, actually, the audience was bad, <laughs> so I don't do that anymore. Hmm. Cool. Hmm. So on that note, we'll take a break, and uh, I have a couple of more questions you for you guys, yeah. <laughs> which I'll oh ask after the break, followed by a fun game, oh, which shit. we'll play. Hey, it's been another great week on IVM Podcast. If you're not following us on social media, please make sure you do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This week we have a new history podcast, Echoes of India, with Anirudh Kaniseti. The inaugural episode narrates the story of Gandhara, the melting pot of the ancient world where Indo Greeks worshipped Greco Indian gods. On Cyrus says, Cyrus is joined by Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch. Varun recollects his early days as an intern on MTV Pakra, his many oddball jobs, and his new podcast, Advertising is Dead. Yes, that's right, he has a new podcast. Launching on the 27th, each week, Varun will discuss the changes and developments in the business of advertising, branding, content, media, and a whole range of issues that exist within the industry. Episodes are out every Tuesday. On the scene in the unseen, Amit Verma is joined by author and journalist Matt Ridley to discuss the evolution of the universe, life, culture, our minds, and our futures. On the Geek Fruit podcast, the Ages and Dinkers slowly lose their mind while they're trying to process just how much they were disappointed by the Fantastic Beasts sequel. Last week on IVM Likes, Abbas and Surbhi talk about Homecoming the podcast versus Homecoming the show. Also, we're reaching 100 episodes of IVM Likes soon. Share your favorite moments from the show with us and your most memorable recommendations. You can write to us at shows at indusfox.com. Also, send us a voice note if you can and we'll play it on the 100th episode. And with that, let's continue on with your show. All right, we are back and uh, we are in conversation with Surbhi and Abbas about uh, <laughs> performing on stage and uh, writing material for stand-up comedy. So, uh, okay, what's the weirdest thing you've seen happen in the audience? Oh. <laughs> they laughed. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed. That's funny. But I think, no, but like one, maybe like a couple hmm. is getting cozy or something. I don't know. Like what's uh, what happens in the audience? This is when you're performing on stage. Yeah, when yeah. you're performing okay. and oh, you no. see the audience, <laughs> and what's like the weirdest thing you've seen? I've seen. Okay, so this happened recently. Okay, like all. Uh, I think last week. Yeah, last mm-hmm. week we had like two like v- women in the audience, and they were like in their like mid forties. They were pretty like yeah, and they looked well dressed and everything, mm. but they were being so salty to all the open micers, dude. It was yeah, like uh, my, a friend of mine was hosting it, and she was again when you're hosting, you have to do some audience interaction. Mm. So she was asking them general question, but hey, what do you do? Mm. And this and that, and then she just got back like we like she just started talking in a very weird tone. Oh, it looks like the way you dressed up. I can tell that you're from this school. Mm. I can tell you from yeah. It just turned mean. Mm. And then she would like so this was we thought it's the and the host kind of calmed her down. She said, okay, calm down. Let's not like it's not a dialogue first of all. Mm. So she every person who went up even after the host, uh, she would interject between like one person went up after and she would be like, oh, where are you from? You look like you're not from Bombay because you're not dressed like that again it's, it mm. throws a person yeah, off yeah. so like it was a very bad vibe for that open mic because that woman, woman like that one f- lady kept interjecting and then we had to tell her like listen if you're not enjoying it please feel free to leave mm. to not ruin everybody else's vibe yeah. 
Yeah, so this was very an unexpected because, like, they were yeah. You don't expect them from yeah. I didn't yeah. That happened. <laughs> Weirdest thing. Uh, so I was doing a gig in uh, this very fancy club in South Bombay, hmm. and there were there were tables. There were I mean they were facing the stage like they were designed like that. Hmm. So I was hosting, and obviously I had to talk to every table, right? Hmm. So right up top, I talked to every table. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> replying, and they are, we, I, the show is going along, except for one table where this guy. Was just busy eating his food. He wasn't listening to anything I was saying. Really? I was like, "Hi, sir. Was, was what's alone? your name?" He was alone. Was and the he food just free? kept eating. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was—a sandwich or anything. And I just kept addressing him, and he wasn't. It wasn't like he was ignoring me. He was just too busy eating. Wow! Oh my God. Until every other I would audience love to member. Be on a date with this person. And one one guy literally was like, "Dude, he's talking <laughs> to you." And he was like, "Oh, sorry, what?" And I was like, "Then oh I made." Oh my God! He thought he's watching a YouTube video <laughs> while eating a sandwich. But you were real. <laughs> So yeah, that was the weirdest. Like there was no response. He was not being rude. He was not being. Un- uh, he was being just. He was Has just he been to a comedy show before? Maybe I have he didn't no. I, I don't remember what interaction I did after yeah. that because I was. I, th- I think I made a, made a joke about just how great mm. the food is that you mm. don't. Yeah. But yeah, he was just busy yeah. eating his sandwich. He it was like that. There, there, there is nothing happening yeah. in this place. A I'm lot of mindful. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, he's in his zone. Yeah. A lot of people who have not been to open mic before they are very shook when you ask them like questions like. What do you do? Mm. And they like do I have to answer that? I'm like yeah, yeah because you have to. <laughs> unlike a, a a play or a movie, the art is actually yeah. interacting with you, so that they get true. they're taken yeah. aback sometimes. <laughs> Have you been to an open mic? Are you are I you have. preparing for an open mic? Like <laughs> yeah. you're taking all this feedback. <laughs> no. no, I'm just getting content out of you guys. Uh, yeah, I have been. I have. Uh, I haven't. In fact. Uh, Watched Naveen perform. I yeah, have. I have me. seen Naveen in his uh, struggling days before he was mm. the good child. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I watched Abbas once at uh, Anti Social when and it was at the Star Wars Day gig. Oh, at and, oh yeah. Yeah. Fruit, yeah, this is when yeah. Anti Social was still around. Yeah. Wow. Oh, by the way, at that back. Star Wars gig, let me tell you guys, Abbas really killed it that yeah. day. Really? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Just, like. I, I I don't remember what his set was, exactly. but I remember laughing. All was, nerd yeah. jokes. Yeah. Yeah. He had a PowerPoint presentation. I if did. I'm not wrong. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Why don't we do that sometime again? Yeah, we should. He said, like, can you not no, use it again? No, because the thing is, whenever I no, the, the, you need to be hardcore Star Wars nerds to get those then jokes. Then maybe you make a night out of that. Like maybe a Star Wars night yeah, again. I need to do that joke. Which yeah. it which was what mm. the night was, and it was great. Yeah. Do you still have the PPT? I do. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. We might no. We won't upload it. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Uh, lastly, uh, do you guys have any message for your audience? Oh like, my like God. maybe like an open letter. <laughs> come or not? to come to the show. <laughs> uh, no, but the, the the guy like the audience is already there. So do you have a message for them? Like mm. okay, I'll just or give advice. A, yeah, I'll just just give a basic etiquette hmm. thing. Uh, but I have to say, m- most comedy audiences are pretty well behaved in yeah. in India. I think, but. Um, Yeah, just basic things like keep your phones on silent. Mm. I I can't believe that 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 that's the thing we still have to say mm. because it takes the performer out of the like his joke is ruined. His or her mm. joke is ruined mm. when a phone just rings in the middle of a of yeah. a, a build up. Mm. Uh, don't heckle. Don't be that asshole who just gets drunk and wants to be mean. Mm. Uh, a lot of comedians put a lot of hard work and time in writing these jokes and getting yeah. this material. So and it takes a lot of courage to go on stage and perform. Absolutely. Also, so, I feel with I, I even I hate the like when I'm in the audience and yeah, I see someone exactly. heckling. I get irritated because I'm like, firstly the limelight is on the person who's exactly. performing. Stop trying to steal that. Yeah, kind of. and you're ruining the show for the yeah. rest of the people. And uh, yeah, if you if you if you want to take a call or if you want to talk to someone, just go out and do that mm. rather than be loud mm. and disrupt the audience, mm. uh, disrupt the comedian rather. Mm. So yeah. So do I? I do think a lot of times when like uh, the audience that sits in the front, you're like the the people I look at when mm. I'm like. So it'll be really help if you're. Actually, there for the show and not to talk to your friends because oh. I'm I'm literally I'm on stage and I'm I'm telling you jokes but I see you talking to your friends. I mean, you can do that later or post show or maybe when nobody's on stage. Hmm. So I mean, it would just like it just like as a sign of like I'm Respect here for the, the art. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, just like even if I'm I'm being shit on stage, please make faces at me. <laughs> so don't talk to your friends. Yeah. Don't like text yeah. on your phone. It'll just yeah, it's been. And nice. just in general, when you go to a comedy show, remember it's a comedy show. 
jokes this these are not yeah. this is these are just jokes uh <laughs> even if you don't don't be don't be a hard nosed person how dare what did he you say, say hard yeah. nose i'm offended by that <laughs> yeah don't be don't be that <laughs> uh, just be like hard nose yeah maybe i do have a hard nose that's funny i don't know never, never noticed that before i have a smooth ass nose <laughs> <laughs> i just have a smooth ass uh, uh, so yeah just take everything lightly it's they're just jokes also laugh guys laugh. a lot of audience no but generally i feel like if cuz when i started watching open mics i had to go to a couple of them to actually start in laughing mm. cuz first you just like giggle and you're like oh should i laugh at this joke and then even everybody else in the room is also laughing is like oh maybe mm. i should like laugh louder mm. yeah. like people just smile nowadays i'm like don't smile buddy laugh yeah, it's like you're it's not just, texting lol yeah, and yeah. You're smiling it's yeah, life laughing is yeah. nice <laughs> Cool. Oh, uh, that was it. I will uh, fun game. T- yeah, yeah. I will take you guys <laughs> to the. I have three questions for you guys. The game is called. Do we get a hamper at the end? <laughs> no, but you okay. get a pamper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I'm sure it's Jana sitting the club. Your local open mics, by the way. If she, if you want to go check her out, <laughs> you will get a pamper. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. The game is called <laughs> Truth or Burp. Mm. So, uh, if you have, I'll, I'll ask you. Like, I'll put you in some scenarios, and mm. if you have been there, you burp. Okay. 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 And cool. if I haven't been, then just no. Then you fart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. But then, okay. if you haven't been, then you don't see. You say no. Yeah, you just say like not applicable. Okay. Or, I can't burp. <clears throat> can't relate. Just say can't uh, relate. Oh my god! Enough? How are you so good at this? <laughs> that was Abbas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, I mean <laughs> there was a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> If you hear a cry for help, that's me saying yes. I'm I was going to say that's like a sex noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You I'll need make... to bring some new guys home, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. I'll try and burp. Okay, so uh, first question. But are we both going at one at once or like one by one? One by one. Okay. Uh, Abbas, you first. Yeah. Uh, have you ever? checked out someone in the audience or crushed on someone in the audience uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh. <laughs> also a burp guys if you can feel it's a burp amazing cool uh have you gotten into a fight with someone in in your audience during the gig or after the gig Ooh. and maybe this could be when you went home also and they found you on social media oh. and tried to pick a fight i got a fellow comic fight damn it during the gig uh in the game no with some with someone in the yeah, audience yeah. Mm-hmm. was yeah, it ashmit patel <laughs> no ashmit patel was damn sweet oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was at blue frog when <laughs> blue frog was around <laughs> it's it's something i'm a little i'm a little ashamed of actually so uh, <laughs> Uh, I used to do this bit about comparing girls and boys, and I did a bit about how women react to something. And mm. a lady in the audience was like, "No, that's not how women uh, mm. react." And I just lost my shit at her. I'm like, you know what? I don't come to your office and fuck around with your job. Why the hell are you doing that to me? Mm. Okay, I did that, and right after the set, and and the thing is, I that wasn't even the complete thing. Like, if she'd actually heard the complete thing, then I shit on men equally also. So after the gig, I felt bad. So I went up to one of the waiters. We used to get a complimentary drink, and I was mm. like, uh, "I'd like to give my complimentary drink to that uh, lady." Mm. And he was like, uh, "Sorry, sir, she left as soon as uh, your performance was done." Oh. So then I felt really bad. I was like, "I actually drove someone mm. away." Then so yeah, who had that complimentary drink? I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, on that note, I, I killed that drink. night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, What about yeah. you? It's no, I haven't gotten a fight. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> But you have with your fellow comic, of course. <laughs> Drama. Okay. Uh, have you gotten inspired from someone else's joke or set or like stolen someone's joke? No. No. Hmm. Okay. Wow, classic <laughs> John. John Paul will get will get this boy on podcast and it makes him <laughs> say the wrong. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. That was it. And uh, if you enjoyed this game, uh, we'll be playing more of Truths and Bob and more games like mm. these on our new dating podcast. Woo! Yeah, which We're is very excited for it. You'll hear yeah. about it soon. Uh, we have a lineup of some very cool guests. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Yeah, and it's for both people who like dating and who hate dating. Yes, it's for both of you. It's for mm. all of you. All of you. All of you. <laughs> yeah, people struggling with this life, <laughs> and people who found 
love. <laughs> yeah, people have found love. Yeah, but keep a lookout for this new podcast. Yeah, which the name of which we'll announce soon. Yeah, and uh, yeah, follow us on social media. We're at IVM Podcasts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also follow us individually, uh, Abbas. You can follow me on Twitter at Abbas Momin. You can follow me on Instagram Abbas Momin eighty eight. I have a Facebook page called Abbas Momin, and I might be right, dropping my listeners. first stand up video soon. So look out for that. Ooh, <laughs> is it on Amazon Prime? Uh, YouTube? No, I don't drop my first video on Prime for one hour. It's gonna be really on YouTube. Cool. That's yeah. damn fun. So we. You can follow me on Twitter at Small Talk Police. You can check my Instagram at Surbi dot Baga, and don't forget to check out Abbas's new video. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, are you guys performing anytime soon? I'm not performing anywhere soon, but uh, I am listed as an artist on Book My Show. So if you type in Abbas mm. Momin, if I do have an upcoming show, it'll show up. Nice. If I have any upcoming shows, you can uh, you'll hear about it on my Instagram. So yeah. Great. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Janam Devan. And uh, yeah, that's Thank a wrap. You. Thanks, Janu. Thank you guys for being here. No it problem. was very Bye. enlightening. <laughs> Bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>